if not for you, I would know nothing of. My wife Joy wakes up at 3:30 every morning and heads down to the restaurant to open up and get the fire going. She's baking by four and serving customers at seven. Her and my sister Marcy opened the Meal House last year. They wanted to create a place for the people in our community to gather and be able to share in each other's lives. They have some incredible food, but most people come, I think, because they love the girls. Joey loves her job, but truthfully, it's what keeps her busy while she's working on her real dream, music. Sweet Emily, as a needle runs through you, the way the pain shines through, well, I know. What if I hadn't gone to town? To pick up a thing or two. Joey's a singer. She's got a gift. She just opens her mouth and the world moves. At least mine does. Joy moved down here from Indiana eight or nine years ago to chase the same dream that I did. To make her mark in country music. But she's not your normal country singer. Besides owning a restaurant, she ropes and rides, drives a dually truck, and she doesn't go anywhere without her hound Rufus by her side. I met her about six years ago at a songwriter night I was playing. I like to tell people she was stalking me. He was different. He was one of a kind. We live in an old 1870s farmhouse. My husband, Rory, feeds the animals at the farm first thing every morning. Then he gets in his little bug that he calls his tractor, and he comes down and has coffee with me before he heads into town. My old man. Rory's a songwriter. He starts off every day with a blank page and comes home with things that make me cry and laugh and think. He's written a few big hits like Blake Shelton's Sun Beach and Clay Walker's Chain of Love, but some of his best songs have never been heard yet. I was just 10 years old, so I've never knew. Roy moved here from Kansas in 95. He was a single dad back then, raising his two girls by himself. Another reason I fell in love with him. If I leave here tomorrow Would you remember me? I, I must be traveling home There's places I've got to see
Our stories are very different. But they're also the same. I grew up with my mom and dad singing and playing around the house. My dad worked on the railroad, but his real passion was country music. My parents mostly sang old songs that I've never heard on the radio. Old Jim Reeves songs and Hank Thompson, those were dad's favorites. One song they used to sing was Have I told you lately that I love you? When dad passed away, they only sang one song at his funeral. Have I told you lately that I love you? Shall I tell you once again somehow? We were meant to be together. I'm his singer. Am not for you.